shave number 18. Face shave that is now, I've started doing head shaves. Um, I've been looking forward to this one. I was supposed to be doing this shave last Saturday, but my uh, uh, challenged me to the budget shave, so I had to do that one first. Um, but yeah, so I'm today I'm using, as well advertised, the Merca Progress. This is the short, short one, uh, short handled. Um, I've got it at setting five at the moment. Um, that is the case, just so that, you know, you can have a look at that again. Um, just opens up like that. And then you've got these blades and this is the blade that I'm actually using using in it. I'm just going to turn this the right way around. Um, so I'm actually using the Merca blades in it just to try them out and they just slot in to the case like that. So it makes a good travel case to be fair. Whether I'll use this for traveling or not, don't know because I've got my um, Wilkinson sword um, plastic, fantastic plastic um, razor that I wouldn't mind if I left behind because I can get another one for four quid so um, but you know that's basically the situation so today I'm using my Yaki uh, 28 mil brush which uh, I love this brush it's lovely the way it's been turned and the colors and everything else um, the bowl that I will lather with today because I haven't done much bowl lathering lately is the captain's choice um, so yeah I'll be using that the pre-shave oil is I need to get my glasses on this is one of the ones from the barber club or the personal barber subscription service mr. Massey's shaving oil is uh, is what I'm using today for my pre-shave my uh, soap today is Mickey Lee soap works Cape Verde um, so this has been used before but probably only once or twice it's got a beautiful beautiful smell to it nice strong scent um, so I will lather on the puck but then I will go to the bowl to to carry it to continue the lather on uh, following that as a this ha I'm not sure whether this this has got aloe vera calendula and chamomile in it it's lucky tiger so instead of using a witch hazel i'm using a aftershave and face tonic by lucky tiger following that i will be using nivea men sensitive post shave balm and um, this is a new addition to my fragrances my aftershaves it came damaged and i was going to send it back but i thought you know what for eight quid I'm not going to argue about it. It's rather a large bottle of Aqua Velva. Aqua Velva lotion, fresh control. So, and I have tried it. It's very nice. Um, I don't think it lasts long, but it doesn't matter at that price. And then I will finish off with the usual Nivea Men. So, um, so there we go. So I'm going to get everything ready. Going to wet my face using my spray. You don't want to see me looking like a bulldog chewing a wasp, so I'll spray this on. I may use this mid-shave anyway, so um, I'm going to get everything ready, and uh, we'll go from there. I'll be right back. So that's me now. Uh, I've put the oil on, the pre-shave oil. I'm going to go straight to the puck, and then I'll lather up in the bowl following that. So all I've done is I've squeezed... From the white bit down I just squeeze the water out there because um, I like to leave a, quite a bit of water in the brush certainly on a hard puck like this so so we're going into the puck I'm going to load it quite well because I'm then going to go to the bowl But already it's it's creating quite fine um, fine lather in here it's funny lately I haven't really been going to the bowl at all it's, I've just gone straight from the puck because I haven't been using many creams other than the Lear I think was the last cream that I used 
Um, oh no, <laughs> I did use the uh, the uh, body shop cream in the end yesterday on the head shave because it got to the point where I didn't feel safe um, continuing with that shave gel. Right, I'm gonna put some water in here with this. So there's a little bit of water in there. And I'm just gonna to go to it. Get some good leather going. So I hope everybody's having a, a good weekend. Um, over here in the UK, restrictions have been lifted to a certain degree. Um, but I th as I think I've said before, here we go, I'm gonna have to use the spray again. I, I can't go out, but uh, if that's if you watch my head shaving videos, but uh, Oh, the scent on this is really good. Yeah, that uh, experiment yesterday with the the body shop body shop shaving gel uh, wasn't very successful, I have to say. It uh, dissipated within a few seconds of being put on my face. Didn't last long at all. Um, and it's probably designed basically to use your fingers and just lather up on your face with your fingers rather than a brush. Um, might It might last longer that way, I don't know. But e either way, it wasn't up to the standard of their cream, which I would highly recommend. Um, so yeah, right, that will do me, I think. I'm, I'm going up here a little bit because when I did my head shave, I couldn't really get into the nooks and crannies there. So I'm going to use the DE up there just to catch any stragglers. Um, on both sides really right I think I'm ready to start quite eager to get to the Merca progress so what I want to do is get this that's right. It's all right. Because of the bright light over there, it's making my face look a bit dark, even with both of these lights on. So, right. So I'm going to put it here. Right. Here we go. So with the grain. So that's setting five and I can definitely feel the blade on this. And this will go all the way up to setting 10 so god knows what that feels like i might i might give that a go off camera before showing you because it might end up as a bloodbath because this already feels quite aggressive not as aggressive as the r41 the mool r41 but it does feel i can feel the blade So I'll drop this down to probably three after this. So there we go. 
I'm just going to have a look. I need to put my glasses on because I haven't actually shown you I'm on setting 5. There's the dot. Um, so that should hopefully show you it's setting 5. So there you go. Um, so with the grain this side. Very interesting. It's comfortable. It is comfortable. And bearing in mind I'm using Merca's own blades, which to be honest in the past haven't really got on with, but these feel okay at the moment, but I'd have to try out say an Astra or a Nasit blade um, to see what the difference would be. So. But I, I'm impressed with this so far. Very good. So let's do my face again. And straight in with the yeah. This Cape Verde Mickey Lee soap works very good. I haven't heard. Anybody reviewing Mickey Lee soap works lately? I don't know, maybe I've just missed it. Or oh, misheard. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice scented soap. Scent strength, uh, I would definitely say it's above five. Um, I would say maybe five and a half, six on scent strength. It's not as strong as some of the scents I've got. Um, just going to go back to the bowl. A little bit. Let's pick up some of this wasted lather. As you know now, I don't like wasting lather, so I have gone back to the the soap soap bowl or the puck just to pick up the spare lather. So across the grain, so on this side, it's for across the grain, I go straight up because the way the hairs grow. Oh, I was going to drop this to three. So let's do that before I start. Uh, drop it down to three. There we go. So just put it down to three. Um, from there, so straight up against the grain. Or oh, not against the grain, I'm sorry. Across the grain is straight up on this side. Very comfortable on three. I 
think you can probably hear that feedback. So, across the grain here. I have to say the, the Merco blade is, is pretty good. Um, at the moment it's feeling quite smooth, certainly on three, which you'd expect. So on with the spray again. The lather looks thin, but believe me, that's there's still a lot of lather in there. it on make a good decorator <laughs> okay so against the grain now I'm leaving it on three because I'm quite comfortable with it at this aggression. I don't think going down to one or two is going to make, but well, I just don't think it'd be efficient enough. feels like a close shave. So I think I've actually done this the wrong way around, but it doesn't matter. I'm probably going to go back to doing both sides the same way. because I keep getting confused. There's the cut from a few weeks back. So it's still there, it's still visible. So that might scar. But it'd be a very fine scar. So let's have a look. I wouldn't say the slickness on this soap. I mean, it is slick, but it doesn't leave, you know, um, a massive amount of residual slickness behind. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's certainly not as slick as the maca root. Um, so we're going to do the pickup pass. Yeah, it's 
all there. It's in the usual spots. But all in all, this has been a very enjoyable shave. Um, oh, I didn't use, do the lather mitten. I should have done for the pickups. But there, uh, forgot. So. I might go around with a lather mitten afterwards. Mm, I might have caught myself there, that dug in a little bit. It's certainly going to burn. Right, let's get a bit of lather on here. A little bit there. I haven't quite caught. Don't want to overdo it. Just a couple of spots. Right, that's me done, I think. Take a, the rest of the lather out. Smooth, smooth shave, but I do think this is going to stink because I'm not used to this and I can already feel that uh, it's been a close shave, shall we say. Um, so let's just get rid of this. I keep forgetting to bring up. Bring up the uh, general dishwasher soap that uh, Maya recommends. Um, so yeah, just going to use my old shaving towel as a flannel just to get this off. And straight into cold. shaves one on one or and his son have all been talking about and I have to say that feels much better much better quality um, right so I'm going to use the alum because I can feel that the skin has had a very close shave so uh, 
Let's spray on some cold. Yeah. No, that stings. Wow. That really stings. So they, I've got to learn how to use that razor properly because that shouldn't be stinging like that, I don't think. That's as bad as the feather. The feather uh, artist club chevette. Maybe even as bad as, in fact, I'd say it probably is as bad as the Razor Rock Hawk version two. Because that stinging, I knew, I knew straight away um, that that was going to be the case because I could feel it even before I put the alum on. So, so yeah, let's just, uh, what have I done with my towel? Let's use this one. Just drying off the alum block. Let the alum do its work. Um, and then the next bit that's going to do is this. So let's just put some of this stuff out of the way. I'm getting confused here. Um, just want to pour this water away again. Gets rid of all the hairs. Right, I'm going to take this off now with cold water. In comparison, this towel, when I was using this after a shave and after using alum, that thing would stick to my face like glue. This is a completely different experience. So I will say this, that, you know, that there's definitely the differences in the quality of the shave towel. <clears throat> um, Just rinsing off the bowl. Right, on with Lucky Tiger. I think my face is going to need this. <laughs> I don't think these sting, but I'm definitely putting a good coating on. Yeah, there's no sting on this. This is very pleasant, nice smell. Um, I definitely prefer, I mean, I wouldn't call this an aftershave because the scent on this is very, very mild. Um, I would say scent strength on this is probably a one or a two, um, you know, unless I'm buying the wrong stuff, but it does say aftershave and face tonic in a plastic bottle. So I'm assuming that's the right stuff. So yeah, not a lot of scent in that. I'm going to be using the Nivea Men Sensitive Cream Aftershave Balm. <clears throat> so here we go. Throw that on my head as well. It doesn't do it any harm. Right, just gotta let that dry off a little bit. Soak in. So while I'm doing that, I'm just cleaning out the brush. It's important that you, you know, look after your gear. You've spent and invested money in it. Don't leave it to, you know, don't mistreat it is what I'm trying to say. Um, with these, I tend to just squeeze them out. I don't swirl them and stuff like that because you don't want to break the fibers. And then all I do 
is I shake them very vigorously across my bathroom and uh, see how far I can get it. <laughs> um, and then I'll just dry that off with a towel afterwards. With this, I'll take the blade out and actually give it a scrub with a brush, an old toothbrush will do. Um, it's got, um, it has got some scum on the top, so I'm just going to wipe that off. But yeah, um, I'll take the blade out, clean everything out, and then put it in my rack, which is actually an old test tube rack. <laughs> so, so it'll go in there for its next use. Um, just gonna wash out this puck and then I'll let the puck dry off naturally. Uh, right, so I think we're ready now to go on to the aftershave. So, yeah, as I, as I said earlier, it got damaged in transit, but you know, for eight quid, it's just not worth it. And this is a massive bottle. It's 400 milliliters in a glass bottle. It's really good. I would say though, with this kind of waste, you need to make sure you've dried your hands thoroughly and you haven't got any soap on it because this could easily slip out of your hand. Um, oh, good sting on that, I must admit. I think a lot of it went on the floor, so I'm going to give it another dose. There we go. And just to finish off, the Nivea Cream Moisturizer, and then we'll be done. Um, so again, if anybody thinks it's better to do my shaves the other way around, head shave on a Saturday and face shave on a Friday, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for those new subscribers and the, and the su subscribers that have been with me for, well, since the beginning. Um, it's uh, really nice and, and a lot of them are really taking part in, uh, in the comments section. So I really enjoy that. So. Um, Let's uh, do my Alvida Zen. So it's bye bye from my Merca Progress. It's a very pleasant shave, and bye bye from me. Thanks very much.